hello welcome to a new video in this video we are going to uh, discuss the fundamental group of uh, uh, two topological spaces we need a definition uh, in order to uh, go uh, ahead uh, in this definition uh, we define uh, the direct product of two groups so let's consider two groups uh, G and H. Two groups are G and H, and we can define the direct product of uh, the two groups, uh, uh, and it can be represented by G direct product H. This is a circled across uh, notation. See, uh, circle uh, direct product of H. Uh, it is the set G cross H. Uh, first of all, we can we can consider the, G, uh, the set G cross H, and uh, G cross H means uh, uh, the elements contain elements are uh, ordered pairs uh, of uh, members of uh, uh, the first uh, set and the second set. So uh, G cross H contains uh, elements of the form G comma H, where G belongs to G, small G, small G belongs to capital G, and small H belongs to capital H. And we need to define the group operation uh, in this set. And that group operation can be uh, denoted by uh, the notation, uh, the cross in the uh, in inside the circle or, or the circle cross. And it can be defined by uh, assuming that uh, two um, two members of the uh, set are G1 H1 and G2 H2 be the two members of the set G cross H. Then uh, we can we define uh, the operation between the uh, the the two members G1 H1 cross uh, circle across uh, G2 H2 equal to uh, G1 G1 uh, dot uh, G2 your G1 G2 G1 G2 uh, is the member um, uh, member of uh, the first group G which is obtained by applying the uh, operation uh, in that in the first group and uh, H1 H2 is the element obtained by applying in the operation of uh, uh, the group operation which is available uh, in the second group H. So G1, uh, G2, uh, comma H2, H1, H2. Uh, <coughs> okay, and then uh, these are, um, uh, uh, okay, for all, uh, this is uh, true for all uh, G1, H1, uh, cross uh, G2, uh, uh, G1, H1, G2, H2, uh, members of uh, uh, G cross H. But see, this is, uh, um, um, for all, uh, yeah, uh, this is true for all. G H actually, uh, it must be stated as G one G two members of G and H uh, one H two members of H, and that's uh, so a correction. So this is true for all G one G one G two uh, both two elements uh, members any two elements members of G and H one H two any two members elements of uh, H. Okay, next uh, uh, we come to the theorem. Uh, let uh, x1 and x2 be uh, spaces with the uh, base points uh, small x1 and the small x2. Uh, two spaces are x1 and x2 uh, and uh, we consider, we, we have to take two members of, uh, two elements of uh, uh, the spaces x1 and x2, uh, so small x1 and small x2. Then x1 cross, then we can, uh, you can uh, take the uh, element x1 comma x2, x small x1 comma x2 as the member of uh, the space x1 cross x2, the, uh, the product space. Then uh, the fundamental group of uh, x1 cross x2, pi1, uh, the fundamental group of x1 cross x2 uh, based on the point or uh, with respect to the base point x1, small x1, comma small x2 is isomorphic to uh, pi1 uh, x, uh, x1 x1, pi1 x1 that is the fundamental group of uh, the first group uh, with respect to the base point x1. Uh, uh, the direct product, direct product of the second group, uh, uh, second fundamental group, that is the group pi1, uh, x pi1 of uh, x2 uh, with respect to the base point uh, small x2. We have um, we have pi1 x1 cross x, uh, x1 x2 x1 comma x2 cross pi1 x2 uh, comma uh, x2 comma x2 see uh, the pi1 uh, fundamental group first fundamental group uh, pi1 x1 comma x2 
cos uh, pi 1 uh, x2 comma x2 uh, consists of uh, the uh, consists of all ordered pairs of the form it consists of all ordered pairs of the form uh, 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 the uh, ordered pairs uh, class alpha 1 uh, comma class alpha 2 so it uh, consists we, we can see that it consists of uh, this group uh, this uh, we, we have to sh uh, show that it's a group then uh, then only okay it, it's a group we actually we uh, we know that it's a group and we want to show that uh, this is isomorphic to um, uh, the fundamental group of uh, x1 cross x2 but uh, you know the members of uh, this uh, this group has the form class alpha one comma class alpha two where class alpha one uh, is a member of uh, the first fundamental group and class alpha two is the member of the second and fundamental group. Uh, okay, and with uh, the group operation, uh, group operation, uh, uh, the uh, circle do uh, circle cos defined by uh, the group operation is defined by. Uh, the member class alpha 1 comma class alpha 2 uh, uh, um, direct product we can call that uh, operation the direct product we know that it is the direct product so alpha 1 alpha class alpha 1 class alpha 2 direct product class beta 1 class beta 2 uh, equal to class alpha 1 uh, star beta 1 comma uh, class alpha 2 star beta 2 class alpha 1 star class beta uh, class alpha uh, class alpha 1 star beta 1 uh, then uh, alpha 2 class alpha 2 star beta 2 let alpha be a loop. Let alpha be a loop in uh, in in the um, product space uh, x1 cross x2 uh, with the base point uh, x1 small x1 comma small x2. And, and this is uh, the other way we are going to think. We can we can think that uh, x1 cross x2. We consider the space uh, the product space x1 cross x2 and uh, we. We, we can think about a loop which is present in that product space x1 cross x2 uh, with the base point small x1 comma small x2 then uh, we know that uh, the projection maps there exist projection maps uh, p1 and p2 uh, which can project uh, the space x1 cross x2 to uh, uh, capital x1 and x1 cross x2 to capital x2 uh, and then you can think about the uh, image of uh, uh, that uh, image of the loop which is present image of the loop uh, with respect to the projection of the uh, uh, that loop is present in x1 cross x2 so image of a loop which is present in uh, the product space x1 cross x2 what will be the effect of uh, uh, the projection map both projection maps are there p1 and p2 uh, on this uh, loop uh, you, we know that p1 uh, p1 uh, alpha that is the effect of uh, the projection on alpha p1 uh, composition alpha equal to alpha 1 we name it alpha 1 that will also be a loop that will be a loop which is uh, based at x naught uh, sorry x1 in uh, in capital x1 so p1 alpha is a loop uh, a loop which is based at x1 in capital x1 and uh, similarly um, p2 alpha P2 alpha is a loop uh, uh, which is uh, uh, that can be taken equal to alpha 2. So alpha 2 equal to P2 alpha is a loop which is based on x2 uh, in uh, in capital X2. So these are loops in uh, x1 and x2 respectively. Uh, and there uh, where where P1 of x1 cross x2 uh, uh, maps to x1 and P2 x1 cross x2 maps to x2 are the projection maps from the product space on to and the coordinate spaces also any pair of loops see uh, any pair of loops alpha 1 and alpha 2 alpha 1 comma alpha 2 in x1 and uh, uh, in in x2 uh, based at see pair of loops alpha 1 uh, any pair of loops alpha 1 and alpha 2 uh, in x1 and x2 uh, based at x0 and x1 respectively see we are considering a loop a loop alpha 1 in x1 which is based at x1 and uh, alpha 2 is another loop uh, which is based uh, which is present in x2 uh, and, and it is based at x2 respectively uh, that can determine uh, see these two loops can determine a loop alpha 1 comma alpha 2 the loop alpha 1 comma alpha 2 equal to alpha that can be taken equal to alpha alpha equal to alpha 1 comma alpha 2 uh, in in uh, the space x1 cross x2 the product space with the base point x1 uh, comma x2 so uh, in the light of this discussion uh, this is uh, an important discussion these are the two points that we discussed it's very important in understanding the uh, 
the progress of the um, uh, of the steps of this proof. So now we define uh, a function. We are going to define a function uh, f uh, from uh, the uh, fundamental group of uh, the product space x, x1 uh, co uh, cross x2 to the um, uh, direct product space of a uh, direct product uh, group uh, product of the two groups uh, pi 1 um, x1 x1 and uh, pi 2 x2 uh, see this is also pi 1 pi 1 x2 x2 so pi 1 x1 x1 and uh, pi 1 x2 x2 so which is defined by f of alpha see uh, here alpha is taken as a loop which is present in the product space uh, x1 x2 uh, along with that uh, uh, that additional um, uh, information which is provided here we accept that so uh, f of then class alpha equal to uh, then which is defined by uh, f of using that definition actually uh, f of uh, uh, class alpha equal to class alpha 1 comma class alpha 2 uh, it's a pair uh, of loops uh, class alpha 1 comma class alpha 2 so f of class alpha equal to class alpha 1 comma class alpha 2 uh, uh, where class alpha uh, is a member of uh, uh, the first fundamental that is the, pro uh, the fundamental group of the product space we can now using this definition so this definition is now clear we are now going to show that uh, uh, this uh, function if we say homomo homomorphism for um, class alpha and class beta for class alpha and class beta two uh, members present in uh, pi 1 uh, pi 1 x uh, x1 cross x2 uh, pi 1 x1 cross x2 uh, comma x1 pi 1 x1 cross x2 comma x1 comma x2 uh, see f of uh, uh, class alpha dot the class beta we uh, take f of class alpha dot class beta uh, equal to uh, f of uh, f of alpha star f of class alpha star beta uh, that is equal to f of uh, uh, f of alpha 1 comma alpha 2 f of alpha 1 comma alpha 2 uh, star beta 1 uh, comma beta 2 um, uh, beta 2 and uh, equal to equal to f1 uh, star uh, b, uh, see alpha it's equal to alpha 1 star beta 1 comma alpha 2 star beta 2 alpha 1 star beta 1 uh, comma alpha 2 star beta 2 uh, beta 2 see that's class of alpha 1 uh, see, class of alpha 1 star uh, beta 1 uh, comma uh, class of alpha 2 star beta 2 uh, it's equal to uh, class alpha 1 comma class alpha 2 uh, the direct uh, class alpha 2 uh, uh, circle the product uh, or the direct product uh, of uh, class beta 1 uh, comma class beta 2 uh, it's e uh, equal to f uh, f of class alpha direct product of f of uh, class beta f of class alpha then operation uh, circular product of uh, uh, f of uh, class beta then f is 1 1 we can show that additionally we can show that f is 1 1 for that we uh, choose we take two elements of uh, the, first, uh, the the uh, uh, the fundamental group of uh, the product space class alpha and class alpha 2 uh, sorry class alpha and class beta be two elements be two, uh, two elements of uh, pi 1 x 1 cross x 2 uh, comma x1 uh, x1 x2 the point x1 x2 uh, and 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 also we assume that f of class alpha equal f of class beta then if, if f of class alpha equal f of class beta then we can write that uh, class of uh, uh, then class of uh, oh, uh, then 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 uh, then the pair class alpha 1 uh, comma class alpha 2 then the pair class alpha 1 comma class alpha 2 equal to class beta 1 comma class beta 2 uh, okay and that means uh, uh, when these uh, two pairs are equal and they are equal that means class alpha 1 equal to class beta 1 and class alpha 2 equal to class beta 2 and that can imply that uh, when class alpha 1 equal to class beta 1 then there is a homotopy f uh, micros i to x1 such that uh, f uh, t 0 equal to alpha 1 t f uh, uh, f t 1 equal to beta 1 t and f 0 f s is equal to f 1 s is equal to x1 where s is an element of i t is an element of i similarly class alpha t equal to class beta 2 imply can imply that directs a homotopy g from uh, i cross i to uh, x2 uh, such that uh, see this is actually x1 capital x1 uh, it's a mistake but uh, here in the second case it's correct uh, it is a class uh, there access to x2 uh, capital x2 such that uh, gt of uh, uh, gt0 equal to alpha 2 t and gt1 equal to beta 2 t uh, and g0 s is equal to g1 s is equal to x2 where s uh, an element of i and t is an element of i and now we define uh, we define h capital h from i cross i to x1 cross x2 by uh, by ht of s is equal to 
HT of S is equal to FRTS and GTS, see capital FTS and GTS, capital GTS, and HT of uh, 0, where then HT 0 is equal to H uh, capital FT 0, GT 0 equal to alpha 1T, comma alpha 2T, where alpha uh, equal to alpha T, and uh, HT of 1 equal to beta 1T, beta 2T uh, equal to beta T, and uh, H0 of S is equal to X1, comma X2 uh, equal to H1 of S, and therefore class alpha equal to class beta we get. Finally, F is on to uh, for that let uh, class alpha 1 and class alpha 2 and the pair of uh, uh, two classes uh, be an element of a uh, pi 1 x1 uh, be uh, pi 1 x1 uh, x1 uh, cross um, circle to cross pi 1 x2 x2 uh, then class alpha 1 is an element of pi 1 x1 x1 and the class alpha 2 a member of pi 1 x2 x2 uh, therefore, uh, uh, the loop alpha equal to alpha 1 uh, comma alpha 2 uh, is a loop in x1 cross x2 with the base point at x1 uh, comma x2. Therefore, uh, class alpha, see class alpha is an element of, uh, um, uh, thus we can uh, see that class alpha clearly is an element of pi 1 of x1 cross x2 uh, comma the point x1 uh, x2. And therefore, uh, we get that f of class alpha equal to uh, the pair, uh, the ordered pair of class alpha one and class alpha two, um, yeah, the ordered pair of class alpha one and uh, and uh, and uh, yeah, class uh, yeah, class alpha two. And so f of alpha equal to uh, okay. And therefore, uh, f is on to. Thus, we get that f is on to. Okay. Therefore. Uh, we can now, uh, after proving this, this is the end of uh, the proof. We have proved that uh, this f is uh, a homomorphism, then f is 1 to 1 and f is 1 to. We have proved all the thing, all the three uh, uh, points. Now, uh, we uh, we can see some uh, examples. Uh, this example can illustrate the, um, the importance of that uh, uh, the previous uh, uh, theorem. Yeah, the, that is the theorem that we have discussed. See the first example. Uh, since the torus, you know, the torus uh, toe is homeomorphic to the product space S1 cross X S S1 cross S1. You know that um, yeah, the torus uh, torus is a the torus is a, is 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 a, an object a topological object which is homeomorphic to S1 cross S1. And also since uh, pi one of S1 uh, is isomorphic to Z. Um, yeah, the uh, set of integers, uh, the additive group of integers, uh, and therefore their their cross product uh, will be zero one cross zero two. So this their cross product, their cross product uh, has the uh, the fundamental group of their cross product. That is by one of s one cross s s one s one cross s one will be isomorphic to zero cross zero is a direct product is a uh, is it? And 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 since uh, t the torus is is homeomorphic to since torus is homeomorphic to this um, uh, this product s1 cross uh, uh, s1, and we can easily uh, uh, say that uh, pi one of uh, um, the fundamental group of the torus uh, pi one of uh, t is isomorphic to uh, pi one s1 uh, direct product pi one s1 uh, is isomorphic to z direct product z. So that is an important uh, 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 observation, uh, uh, which comes as the application of the previous result. Now, uh, the second case, uh, second example, uh, an n-dimensional torus. Uh, we can think about an n-dimensional torus. So since there exists a uh, two-dimensional torus, uh, it's natural to think that uh, there exists an n-dimensional torus. So uh, what about the n-dimensional torus? Uh, that is t raised to n. Uh, the n-dimensional torus t raised to n is the product of uh, uh, n uh, factors of S1. Uh, see, uh, n, uh, it, it's a... Uh, uh, yeah, uh, it's the product of n factors of S1, and thus pi 1 of uh, t1 uh, t raised to n uh, is isomorphic to the direct product of n copies of the uh, yeah n copies of the uh, torus uh, uh, n n copies of the uh, group z of indices. So thus it is clear that pi 1 of t raised to n, since it is the product of the n factors of uh, or, or n copies of S1, a direct product of n copies of S1, we can uh, then we have to say that it is uh, its fundamental group is isomorphic to the direct product of n copies of the group z of indices. Third example, um, 
since uh, the closed uh, we have the uh, in the third example we have the closed uh, cylinder uh, c you see the closed cylinder c is the product of s1 and the interval uh, ab the closed interval ab uh, yeah you can express that uh, cylinder as the product of uh, s1 uh, the circle s1 and the interval closed interval ab uh, then we, uh, uh, then we can uh, find try to find the um, fundamental group of uh, that uh, closed cylinder c pi 1 of c is thus isomorphic to pi 1 s1 cross pi 1 mm, pi 1 of uh, the closed interval ab uh, and that's equal to uh, uh, it's equal to uh, z equal to uh, c um, is that yeah is that cross uh, um, uh, the uh, from, uh, the empty uh, that means uh, uh, the, that null group or the trivial group this is the trivial group that contains only one element uh, set zero so uh, it's i some we hope it's because uh, it's a fundamental group a fundamental group of uh, the circle is is it and then the, its direct product is taken uh, with the uh, fundamental group of the closed interval ab fundamental gr group of the closed interval ab is uh, the singleton uh, group singleton set that contains only uh, the element zero so that is set zero. So uh, is that cross is that circular product of uh, is a direct product of uh, set zero equal is isomorphic to is that itself. So that is the uh, the uh, hmm, that is the third example. Thus we have very important and very uh, actually very uh, yeah thought provoking type of uh, examples. Uh, we have uh, a very interesting type of examples uh, are provided here. So uh, with the discussion of these uh, examples, uh, we can conclude this video. Thank you.